As the great Buddha once said, associate with those who elevate you, for it is better to be alone than in bad company. It's such a pleasure to have you join us as we delve into the profound wisdom of Buddhism, especially when it comes to the art of friendship. So grab a cup of your favorite tea and let's explore together how to cultivate connections that not only elevate us, but also enrich our path towards enlightenment. We're here to share, learn and grow in the warm embrace of good company. Let's light up our hearts with the guidance of Buddha's words and make this journey unforgettable. One, the self-centered friend. The Buddha said, one who looks for a friend without faults will have none. In our lives, we often encounter individuals who seem to orbit around their own interests and desires, much like the sun at the center of our solar system. These friends might dominate conversations with tales of their adventures, achievements and challenges, rarely pausing to inquire about our experiences or feelings. Their need for constant attention and validation can be draining, as interactions often feel one-sided, leaving little room for our own expressions or needs. This behavior not only reflects a lack of empathy and understanding, but also a deeper disconnection from the principles of compassion and selflessness that are central to Buddhist teachings. Compassion, as talked by the Buddha, involves recognizing the suffering of others and taking action to elevate it. Selflessness encourages us to put the needs and well-being of others before our own, fostering a sense of community and interconnectedness. However, when we surround ourselves with self-centered individuals, we may find our own spiritual growth stunted. These relationships can become barriers to our development, as they often do not provide the mutual support, understanding, and encouragement necessary for personal and spiritual evolution. Instead of being uplifted, we may feel emotionally depleted, our energy siphoned off by the endless demands and narratives of self-focused friends. Engaging with self-centered friends can inadvertently reinforce our own egoistic tendencies, pulling us further away from the path of enlightenment. Buddhism teaches the importance of overcoming ego and attachment as steps toward achieving nirvana, a state of ultimate peace and liberation from suffering. In this context, fostering relationships that are balanced, where giving and receiving are reciprocal, becomes essential. These healthier dynamics encourage the sharing of experiences, mutual growth, and the cultivation of virtues such as empathy, generosity, and mindfulness. While we strive to approach all beings with compassion and understanding, it is also important to discern the qualities of those we choose to keep close. Seeking out friendships that are nurturing, that challenge us to grow, and that reflect the values we aspire to embody can enrich our spiritual journey. As we navigate the complexities of human relationships, let us remember the Buddha's teaching as a reminder that perfection in friendships is unattainable, but mindfulness in our interactions can lead to more meaningful and spiritually fulfilling connections. 2. The Gossip Lover As Buddha wisely cautioned, do not speak unless it improves on silence. This profound advice serves as a guiding principle in our interactions, emphasizing the value of meaningful communication over idle chatter. Gossip, often seen as a harmless pastime, is in fact a sweet temptation that can ensnare even those with the noblest intentions. It is a subtle poison that seeps into conversations, tainting them with negativity and judgments that detract from the purity of our minds and hearts. In the teachings of Buddhism, engaging in gossip is not merely a social faux pas. It is viewed as a detrimental force to one's moral and spiritual development. Gossip spreads like wildfire, carrying with it not just unfounded rumors or exaggerated tales, but also the capacity to harm relationships, damage reputations, and sow discord among friends and communities. By partaking in such activities, 
we not only contribute to the propagation of negativity, but also distance ourselves from the path of enlightenment, which is built on the foundations of compassion, understanding and truth. To foster wise friendships, it is essential to steer clear of those who find joy in gossiping. Such individuals thrive on the excitement of revealing secrets, speculating about others' lives, or reveling in the misfortunes of their acquaintances. This behavior not only reflects a lack of empathy and respect, but also a profound disconnection from the principles of mindful living. By associating with gossip lovers, we risk being pulled into a vortex of negativity, which can cloud our judgment, affect our emotional well-being, and hinder our spiritual growth. Buddhism encourages us to seek companions who uplift and inspire us, who share our values of kindness, honesty, and integrity. In the company of such friends, our conversations can become sources of wisdom and joy, enriching our lives and guiding us closer to enlightenment. By choosing to engage in positive, meaningful dialogue that improves upon silence, we honor the Buddha's teachings and create a sanctuary of peace and understanding in our interactions. Recognizing and avoiding the allure of gossip is not just about maintaining social harmony, it is a practice of self-cultivation, a step towards nurturing a compassionate heart and a clear mind. In this light, every word we speak becomes a reflection of our inner state, an opportunity to contribute to the well-being of others and a moment to practice mindfulness in action. 3. The Energy Vampire Buddha's wisdom, encapsulated in the simple yet profound advice, give, even if you only have a little, serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of generosity and compassion in our lives. This teaching encourages us to share our resources, love, and kindness with others, irrespective of our own circumstances. However, this noble pursuit of giving and sharing should not lead us to deplete our own reservoirs of energy and well-being. It is here that the notion of the energy vampire becomes particularly relevant. Energy vampires are individuals who, often unknowingly, drain the emotional and mental energy of those around them. They might do this through constant negativity, demands for attention, or an inability to engage in reciprocal relationships. Interactions with such individuals can leave us feeling exhausted, depleted, and emotionally drained, making it challenging to maintain our own equilibrium and peace of mind. In the pursuit of wisdom and spiritual growth, it is crucial to recognize and set boundaries with energy vampires. This doesn't mean we should lack compassion or assistance to those in need. Instead, it's about striking a balance between helping others and preserving our own energy. By wisely investing our emotional and mental resources, we can ensure that we have the capacity to support our own spiritual journey and contribute positively to the lives of others. Avoiding energy vampires means actively choosing to spend time with individuals who uplift and inspire us, those who reciprocate kindness and share our values of mutual respect and understanding. This selective approach to relationships allows us to cultivate a supportive and nurturing environment, enabling our spiritual and emotional growth. In recognizing the traits of energy vampires in others, we are also prompted to reflect on our own behaviors and attitudes. This introspection can lead to personal growth, encouraging us to become more mindful of how we interact with the world and ensuring that we, too, are not inadvertently draining the energy of those around us. Buddha's teaching to give, even if you only have a little, highlights the importance of generosity and compassion, while also reminding us of the need to protect our own well-being. By understanding and managing our interactions with energy vampires, we can ensure that our spiritual journey is nourished by positive, life-affirming relationships thus embodying the true essence of Buddha's wisdom in our daily lives. 4. The Non-Listener The Buddha wisely noted, To understand everything is to forgive everything. 
This profound statement underscores the pivotal role of empathy and understanding in our interactions, which are deeply rooted in the art of listening. Effective communication acts as the foundational pillar for any thriving relationship, not just in the exchange of words, but in the mutual understanding and respect that comes from truly hearing one another. In the context of friendship, the presence of a non-listener can significantly strain the bonds that hold the relationship together. These are friends who might be physically present, but are often mentally elsewhere, failing to engage with the depth and emotion behind our words. Their responses may seem generic or off-topic, indicating a lack of active engagement in the conversation. This dynamic can lead to feelings of isolation and frustration as it becomes apparent that our thoughts, feelings and experiences are not being acknowledged or valued. On the flip side, friendships that flourish are those where both parties actively listen to each other. Such relationships are characterized by an exchange of not just words, but emotions, ideas and support. Active listening involves giving full attention to the speaker, understanding their message, responding thoughtfully and retaining the information shared. This process fosters a deeper connection, as both individuals feel seen, heard, and understood on a fundamental level. Attentive listening paves the way for the exchange of meaningful ideas. When we feel heard, we are more likely to open up and share more profound thoughts and feelings. This openness can lead to stimulating conversations, shared learning, and mutual growth. It allows both friends to contribute to each other's journey of personal development, enriching their lives in ways that go beyond surface-level interactions. Buddha's quote invites us to consider the transformative power of understanding, which begins with the simple act of listening. By cultivating the skill of active listening, we not only enhance our capacity for empathy and forgiveness, but also strengthen the bonds of friendship. It encourages us to be present for our friends, to truly hear them out, and to engage with their experiences with an open heart and mind. In doing so, we build a foundation of trust, respect, and mutual support, which are essential for any lasting and meaningful friendship. 5. The Manipulator Buddha wisely articulated, Three things cannot be long hidden, the sun, the moon, and the truth. This profound statement illuminates the nature of truth and deception, serving as a guiding principle when we consider the trait of manipulation in relationships. Manipulators, skilled in the art of deception, often exploit the vulnerabilities of others to achieve their own ends. They weave intricate webs of lies and deceit, making it challenging for us to discern their true intentions. This behavior not only undermines the foundation of trust, but also erodes the mutual respect that is essential for any healthy relationship. In the teachings of Buddhism, the virtues of honesty and sincerity are held in high esteem, seen as essential qualities that foster deep, meaningful connections between individuals. These principles encourage us to cultivate relationships based on mutual trust, openness, and genuine understanding. By embracing these values, we shield ourselves from the negative influences of those who seek to manipulate us, ensuring that our friendships are built on a solid foundation of truth and integrity. To navigate our way through the complex landscape of human relationships, it is crucial to develop a keen sense of awareness and discernment. This involves being attuned to the behaviors and actions of those we interact with, recognizing when our boundaries are being tested or crossed. A manipulative friend might use flattery, guilt, or even coercion to sway our decisions and actions to their favor, often leaving us feeling diminished or controlled. The path to fostering more authentic friendships lies in surrounding ourselves with individuals who respect our boundaries, who communicate openly and honestly, and who value transparency in all interactions. Such friends encourage our growth, support our journey towards self-discovery, and celebrate our successes without underlying motives. 
They are the ones who, even in moments of disagreement, strive for clarity and understanding rather than manipulation or control. The Buddha's teaching reminds us of the impermanence of deception and the enduring power of truth. By aligning ourselves with those who embody the virtues of honesty and sincerity, we cultivate friendships that not only enrich our lives, but also support our spiritual and personal development. These are the connections that withstand the test of time, grounded in the mutual respect and genuine affection that blossom in the light of truth and transparency. 6. The Constant Critic Buddha profoundly stated, Words have the power to both destroy and heal. When words are both true and kind, they can change our world. This timeless wisdom underscores the immense impact our words can have on ourselves and those around us, particularly in the context of friendship. While constructive criticism plays a pivotal role in our personal development, offering us valuable insights and perspectives that can lead to self-improvement, it's crucial to distinguish it from the detrimental effects of constant criticism. Constant criticism, unlike constructive feedback, lacks the foundation of support and genuine intent to help. It often stems from a place of negativity, aiming more to belittle or find fault rather than uplift or encourage growth. This relentless negativity can erode the bonds of friendship, creating an environment where individuals feel undervalued, insecure and demotivated. Instead of fostering a sense of improvement, it breeds resentment and a lack of self-esteem, which are toxic to any relationship. On the other hand, constructive criticism is delivered with empathy and care, aimed at encouraging and guiding the recipient towards a positive direction. It recognizes the individual's strengths while gently addressing areas for improvement, thereby promoting a supportive atmosphere that is conducive to growth and learning. This approach not only strengthens the friendship, but also contributes to building the recipient's confidence and capability to tackle challenges. Enduring friendships, therefore, are built on a foundation of support, encouragement, and the celebration of each other's successes. They are the kind of relationships that allow individuals to feel safe and valued, knowing that their friends have their best interests at heart. In such friendships, Feedback is given in a manner that is constructive and uplifting, focusing on mutual growth and understanding rather than criticism and judgment. True friends understand the delicate balance between being honest and being supportive. They know when to offer guidance and when to simply listen and provide encouragement. By celebrating each other's successes and facing challenges together, these friendships foster a deep sense of trust, respect, and mutual appreciation. Embracing Buddha's teaching on the power of words encourages us to reflect on how we communicate with our friends. It invites us to be mindful of our words, choosing to be sources of healing and support, rather than destruction and discouragement. By nurturing friendships with kindness, truth, and encouragement, we contribute to a more compassionate and understanding world, one where true personal growth is not just possible, but inevitable. 7. The Untrustworthy The Buddha wisely noted, the fool who knows he is a fool is that much wiser. This profound statement highlights the importance of self-awareness and its role in personal growth and relationships. In the context of trust, this quote reminds us that acknowledging our flaws, including moments of untrustworthiness, is the first step towards wisdom and improvement. Trust serves as the bedrock for any deep and meaningful friendship. It is the silent pact that binds individuals together, allowing them to share their thoughts, feelings and vulnerabilities without fear of judgment or betrayal. When we form a friendship, we essentially place a part of our heart in another's hands, believing that it will be treated with care and respect. This mutual understanding is what fosters a safe and nurturing environment 
where individuals can flourish and grow together. However, trust is delicate. Once broken, it can be incredibly difficult, if not impossible, to fully restore. A friend who repeatedly breaches this trust undermines the very essence of the relationship, leading to feelings of betrayal, hurt, and insecurity. Such actions not only damage the bond between friends, but can also have a lasting impact on an individual's ability to trust others in the future. Friendships grounded in trust are akin to a safe harbor in the tumultuous sea of life. They provide a refuge where we can be our true selves, express our deepest fears and highest hopes, and know that our confidant will hold them with integrity and confidentiality. These relationships are characterized by a mutual exchange of trustworthiness, where each person strives to be reliable, honest, and supportive. Cultivating such friendships requires effort, patience, and a commitment to open communication and understanding. It involves consistently showing up for one another, keeping promises, and respecting boundaries. To truly open our hearts and build lasting connections, we must strive to be trustworthy friends ourselves and seek out individuals who value and practice trustworthiness. It is through this mutual commitment to trust that friendships can reach their fullest potential, offering us a source of comfort, strength, and joy. In this sacred space of trust, we not only discover the true meaning of friendship, but also learn more about ourselves and our capacity for compassion, empathy, and love. Let us be mindful of the trust placed in us and be diligent in nurturing friendships that are built on this fundamental principle. By doing so, we pave the way for relationships that enrich our lives and support our journey towards personal growth and enlightenment. Remember, dear viewers, each friendship we cultivate shapes our journey towards enlightenment. By being mindful of the people we choose to surround ourselves with, we pave the way for more fulfilling and meaningful connections. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found these insights valuable and will apply them in your own lives. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss out on our future enlightening content. Until next time, stay mindful, my friends.